Hi, I'm Dave Weaver with Easter Precision. I'm here with Al Fons from Fons Performance in New Jersey, one of the premier performance shops in the area. What do you think, Al? What made you decide to go this direction with ultrasonics? What were you doing before this? Well, before this, it was taking a, a lot more time to clean. Uh, we, we waited a lot of years to uh, see how they developed, and uh, we looked at a lot of different machines. And basically, when we did make a decision to get one, uh, we went with uh, Eastern Precision, and uh, the cleaning has cut down oh, tremendously. Uh, we probably, we probably clean it uh, as far as the fastest goes. It's it's like half the time, if not less than you know more than half, than, uh, to keep up with it. And it uh, just does a great job. The aluminum uh, on cast and anything. Uh, it was a good move, very, very good investment, and I would recommend for anybody to do it. Uh, it just saves a lot of time on your labor on cleaning, especially a lot of when you're the hand scrubbing, and it's just great. It's a wonderful machine. Now, what were you doing before this as far as your cleaning? How were you going about cleaning a crankshaft or a block or any of that? Well, before we got to use the ultrasonic machine, uh, we have an oven that we bake everything with, and then steel shot it. Uh, we did the crankshafts, the blocks, the heads, we did everything in there. Uh, we had a hot tank for final cleaning, a spray wash for final cleaning. Now it's like in here, clean it, machine it, back in here, psh, like out the door. So, I mean, we still use our oven and we still uh, use the uh, steel shop machine, but not, not as much as we used to because uh, this does it a lot faster and it's time saving. And also the cost of running the oven, the, the, the steel shop machine, it's a saver. I think if anybody, and this is no BS, if anybody uh, ever invested one of these, it's, it's not a bad move. It's a very, very, very good move. I would highly recommend it. How long do you think it will take for this piece of equipment to pay for itself for you? Are we talking years, months? I would say, uh, now remember, this is, you know, like the, the top of the line one because right. of the size of it. But oh, absolutely. I, I would say I would probably get, uh, just in labor alone, because of the price of this one here, uh, not that it's extravagant, but you know, we, we wanted something big to do the block, so forth and so on. Right. Uh, I would say with this, I wouldn't be surprised if I got my money back in 18 months, okay. if not sooner, because it, on time, on saving, uh, just the, the labor alone. It could be a year, but definitely faster. Your guys are assembling instead of scrubbing parts. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, like what we do now is when we disassemble an engine, we put all the tin in here, and in 10, 15 minutes, it's clean, done. Now, what kind of parts are you putting in here? We'll put oil pans, valve covers, push rods, rocker arms, uh, aluminum. Oh, man, it's great with aluminum. The days of doing the scrubbing and in and out with the carburetor cleaner. and Geez, you know, I mean, the aluminum, it does. We do a lot of aluminum in here. Example, for guy, we do a lot of performance engines. So on a race engine, you, you will use your pistons over because it's just freshen it up. Uh, Put the rods, pistons right in here, cleans them, done, done deal. Uh, it's just so much time saving all around that uh, I, I'm really happy that I that it, that it was a smart move. It was a good investment, and it'll be a good return. You know, re uh, how would you say that? Return on your investment. You know, like you'll get a good return out of it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, great. It's great, David. Uh, now tell us about Fonz Performance. What is it you specialize in? Uh, we do custom performance engines, street strip, and marine. Uh, we do a lot of race motors for drag strips, uh, you know, drag racing, oval track. But our main focus is on drag racing. Uh, we have our own car that we run. And uh, we do some oval track. We do it all, like I said, street strip and marine. And uh, as far as, uh, as far as like people bringing stuff here to get machined, we do a lot of machining and they'll assemble it themselves. We've been getting a lot more compliment, you know, compliments on how clean that the product is. And a lot of people found out that we had an ultrasonic cleaner and people are just bringing aluminum here to get cleaned and uh, uh, different items. So it, it actually increased some of the business on the cleaning end, Wonderful. which who likes to clean? Well, with this, <laughs> put it in there, up, down, bing, bing, done deal, you know, so. How much of your shop time do you think you were spending cleaning? Oh, geez, uh, it probably cut down the shop time and cleaning a good, Dave, don't hold me to it. Uh, but I'd say at least 10 to, to 20 to 15 hours a week. Uh, okay, well, normally, say that, uh, normally how many hours would it have taken before this? Well, like the example would be if you, uh, when you disassemble an engine, uh, while you're taking that engine apart, 
you could actually be cleaning the parts, which is great. Right. So you're doing two things at once. Before you couldn't like clean it. You know what I mean? Like you could take all your components from an engine, the oil pan, the, the rocker arms, all your 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 hardware, your tin, and as you're taking it apart, just put it in a basket, put it in here, and then it's cleaning. Now you're taking your short block apart, and your your everything is ready to put the engine back together. Naturally, you inspect it first, and mm -hmm. then uh, you know as far as the block goes. Uh, we'll take a block, we'll put it in the oven, because basically you, you can put it in here, but uh, you, you gotta you gotta use some of your other equipment because <laughs> you, you won't be happy. You'll think you invested in that for nothing. And that's I the truth, it. you know. But uh, all joking aside, it's uh, it's a very it's a good investment. It took me a lot of years to uh, to do it to make the move, and I thought it was pricey, but it's not 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 for what it saves you. Uh, this model right here, I think, is close to 30 grand or so. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to spend 30 grand. We just wanted the agitator, which it does a little faster. But I've talked with guys that have other shops that have the the model that's not the agitator, which I think you have some of them that are under 20,000. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't absolutely. know. Yeah. But uh, if you did want, if if you bought one of the ones that are like this size and it don't have the agitator, you probably get your your, your return on your investment in about a year because mm -hmm. it, it's a time saver. Absolutely. And it does draw in business because we have people bringing us aluminum. Like here's a here's a manifold right here. If I could show you this, we did this manifold, and this manifold was all painted. Was was the guy brought it in? It was yellow. It was like, you, you know, it was just coated with the paint. And the guy says, "Hey, you think you can clean it?" I said, "Yeah, this will take it off." Put it in there, and believe it or not, in in, in 15 minutes, it, most of it was off. We put it back in for another 15 and. As you can see, that looks brand new. Absolutely. You know, so, now, how would you uh, have cleaned that before? Uh, I would have never got the paint off of it. To okay. be honest with you, I mean, we have, uh, I'm sure everybody knows about the carburetor cleaner. Right. You know, uh, we have the carburetor cleaner that we used to use for the aluminum. It's an aluminum cleaner, but we call it carburetor cleaner. And it would never, it, it, would, it wouldn't do that. You'd have to, oh, geez, you'd be in the carburetor cleaner, you soak it in there for a day, take it out, put it in your spray washer, and then take it. Put it back in the aluminum cleaner. It was, it wasn't worth it to clean that. A guy comes in, wants a manifold like that clean. Uh, we told the guy, yeah, thirty-five bucks, right? Just we wanted to see for ourselves how this machine works. Sure. And, uh, and the guy was so happy, he gave us a twenty-dollar tip. So, go figure, right? Nice. Very and nice. Uh, matter of fact, he left that, brought other stuff, and it, and it brought a job in because now we got to do his heads and. So that's what happens, you know, but he was really happy about that and uh, he did leave a $20 tip and the manifold, not that the manifold's ours, but he said, I'll pick it up when I get the other stuff. So that's excellent. Very, very good investment. I, I would recommend this machine to anybody. Al, how many years of experience do you have in automotive rebuilding? Uh, 39 years. 39 years. Yeah. Terrific. 39 years, yeah. And you're pleased with the way this has worked out? Oh, yeah. Like I said, Dave, it's. Uh, I would recommend this to anyone if they want to come to my shop and see it work. They'd be welcome to it. It's a, it's a great investment, and like I said, being in the business for 39 years, uh, this is one of the better investments that I've made. There's no doubt about it. It's a very good investment. Uh, your website is uh, www.fondsperformance.com. Well, thank you for your time.